It's the end of the One Day International series and it's time for our report card when I anxiously scan my email inbox to see what the editor has sent, how many names, what numbers, and he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, eight people to look at. I mean, there's only that many. It's only a little blog. So let's let's go through this little selection. And the first name is Ambatti Tirupati Rayadu. I thought he was uh, the find of the series, if you can call a 33-year-old a find. But he was thrown in. He was told, listen, this is your uh, opportunity to go and make number four your own at the end of the series there'll be 13 games left you want to be on that flight to the world cup here you are number four go and take advantage of it what did Ambati Raidu do he scored a century in what 80 81 balls he got another big score and he finished with 217 from four innings averaging 70 strike rate 100 if you tell someone go and make that spot your own you cannot ask for more for his extraordinary attitude his ability to bat anywhere Ambati Raidu gets eight out of 10. Now let's go on to another recent master of India's limited overs game but who struggled a little bit here with Shikhar Dhawan you never know when Shikhar Dhawan gets it right he just peels off runs occasionally peels off hundreds and he's not going that well but you couldn't really tell if he was going well or no because when he got those 30s he was looking like the usual Shikhar Dhawan is going to go on and get big, sc big scores but by his own standards up at the top of the order what did Shikhar Dhawan do he made 112 at an average of 23 he looked good at times, 5 out of 10 for Shikhar Dhawan. Then let's go on. A player I was, uh, I was uh, very excited to see because India don't normally do left-arm bowlers very well. There was a time when you had Nehra and Zaheer and Irfan and RP and then all of a sudden we said, right, we've had enough. And then now Khalil comes in. I'll tell you what I liked about Khalil Ahmed. Initially, he was just banging it back of a length. And you thought, nah, I mean, at, at this level, you bang it back of a length. People are going to find ways to play you. And then the ball started swinging. And then he picked up those three quick wickets. He picked up wickets after that as well. What did Khalil Ahmed finish with? He got four matches, he, seven wickets. Economy of 5.34. Wicket taker, very impressive. Uh, seven for Khalil Ahmed. How oh, would be great if he can go on and make it eight. Now let's pick some West Indians. Let's start with Shimran Hetmeyer. I saw him play in this. I saw bits in the CPL. I saw him play in the test matches and I thought there were two players by the same name. He was fantastic in the CPL when he was playing those beginnings and then he came in the test matches and you thought why does he really not want to be here. We discovered that when the one day started what a player he's going to be. But then with the West Indies you never know if, if they will develop. So let's see from what we had today. Shimran Hetmeyer hit 259 in five innings. Strike rate of 140. When he did well the West Indies did well. When he didn't do well the West Indies didn't do well. And because he was this leading indicator of the West Indies performance I'm actually going to give Shimran Hetmeyer an eight. He was exciting. I mean, when he was in, you thought, wow, let, let's see what's going to happen. Then let's move on. One of the most experienced players. I remember writing a piece on Marlon Samuels back in 2002. And then he came to India in 2002. As a T20 player, you talk of the Russells and the Bravos and the Gales and everybody else. In the big games, it's always Marlon Samuels. What did Samuels do here then? 64 runs in five innings. Just the odd flash here and there. I know he came and bowled a little bit. Mm, three, maybe four. Okay, let's bow. Let's give him four. Four to Marlon Samuels. Moving on, Jason Holder. I, I must, I must, uh, uh, little disclo disclosure, disclaimer, call it what you will. I like Jason Holder. I think he's a better batsman than bowler. I think Test cricket's his favorite format. But there were three good play batsmen for the West Indies in this series. There was Hetmeyer, there was Hope and I think uh, Jason Holder is going to be a number five, number six very shortly. Uh, Holder finished with 161, average 40.25. I think he's been the best captain for a long time. He's wonderful. He's got a great sense of dignity and calm about him. Gets the most of what is not really the most wow team in the world. Uh, Jason Holder gets seven and a half. I couldn't make up my mind between seven and eight. Seven and a half which leaves me with two players. I was hoping they'd be in the list. So we'll start with the first of those, Rohit Sharma. When Rohit Sharma starts to bat, you just go, wow. And Rohit Sharma made 389 at a strike rate of 119, an average of 129. I mean, apart from a game or two, when you just thought, listen, Rohit, it, it, that is Rohit Sharma. But Rohit Sharma was fantastic in the series and he'll get 9 out of 10. And there's some of you I know will think even 9 is a bit harsh. And so I'm going to end with something even more than 9. And that was the captain. I sit so often here to do this series review. 
and I always have Virat Kohli at the end because I'm still making up my mind. How do you give more than you've already given? What do you do with Virat Kohli? 453 runs. When he got an edge on 16, we said, oops, does his bat have an edge too? Because that is how he batted in this series. Virat Kohli was batting like a man among children. I'm not saying the other players were children. The gulf was that wide. He just didn't look like he was going to get out. I'm talking of the gulf between batsman and bowler, not batsman and batsman. 453 runs, average 151 because they just couldn't get him out. Strike rate of 113, did everything. I'm thinking, how do what marks to give? Nine and a half. There we go. Just because I had one outside edge. Nine and a half to Virat Kohli. I'll tell you what, between Rohit Sharma and Virat Kohli, when they bat like that, they they make it just absolutely great fun. So nine for one and nine and a half for the other.